This is a B4 bioenergetics video looking at photosynthesis and this time we're actually looking at transpiration rate and how we can investigate the rate of transpiration. Now transpiration is the movement of water from the roots through the xylem to the leaves, so through the stem and then to the leaves and that water is lost as evaporation or you can say transpiration or you could even say evapotranspiration through the stomata between the guard cells and we can see from these pictures the picture at the top if we put that bag over the leaves on a sunny day you could actually collect the water and an apple tree on an average sunny day will, re will release a bath full of water okay so it's a lot of water lost through those tiny stomata between the guard cells through transpiration and it works exactly like a straw. When we drink through a straw, we're removing some of the liquid through the straw and more of the liquid is pulled up through the straw. So as soon as some water evaporates through those stomata, more water is drawn up through the roots by osmosis and then travels through that xylem in the stem through to the leaf um, by transpiration. And we can evidence that looking at um, some celery this celery has been in um, some red food dye and you can see the xylem okay those stringy bits of the celery contain the xylem and the phloem but we can see the xylem there and we can see the red dye go through it now this piece of equipment is called a potometer and we can use this to investigate the rate of transpiration in different situations and we used it as a model on the computer and what we can do here is you've got an air bubble here and we've got this ability to draw more water up and we could change maybe the number of leaves, we could change whether we put a hot breeze on it like a hairdryer, we could put a cool breeze on it again using a hairdryer or no breeze at all and we could look in a certain fixed period of time say 5-10 minutes how much that bubble's moved therefore how much water has been lost by transpiration. And here's the computer model that we used. Okay, so we had that hairdryer off, cold or warm, and we could change the number of leaves. We could leave it for a fixed period of time and see how much that air bubble has moved. And that tells us how much water has been lost from the leaf. Let's just have a quick look at an exam question. This was quite a tricky one that I found. Explain why the mean rate of water uptake is higher on a hot day than a cold day. Okay, so we're saying the uptake of water from the roots is higher on a hot day than a cold day so on a hot day we're losing more leaf, uh, more water out of the leaves via um, transpiration or evaporation or evapotranspiration whatever you want to say so more water is lost one through the stomata and that's the idea of it's being a straw and therefore because more water is lost more water is pulled up okay so more water is lost it happens via um transpiration or you could say evaporation or you could say evapotranspiration and there'd be more of it on a hot day so saying more transpiration is even better and then because there's more movement of water more water is then taken up at the roots via osmosis to replace the water that's been lost okay because it's this idea of a continuous stream of water like going through a straw hope you found that useful thank you